106. Beautiful day that the Lord has made. Hi, I'm 83 in Memphis here. I want to talk about uh, this topic today that I had on my mind today. When all hell break loose, where is your faith? I want to get this first call on the line. First call, go ahead. Hey, Don, this is what I wanted to tell. I was so happy to hear about that topic this morning. When all hell breaks loose, where is your faith? I tell you, when all hell broke loose in my life, my faith was in God because I was almost homeless. I was running back and forth during the living out of my car. But you know what? I leaned on the Lord. And when I did, all things turned around. So I'm going to tell you right now, if y'all out there listening, your faith should be in God when all hell breaks loose. Right. Caleb, come on. Plus, you know I gotta drop you off at Dunn's. Baby, I'm sorry. When I was getting dressed, I was just spending time with God, and I guess I just lost track of time. That's all. <laughs> I hope you know they're about to foreclose on our home. What? Yes, Kayla. I found this letter in that stack of mail that you brought in yesterday. And didn't I tell you, bring the mail in and go through it. I mean, do I have to do every single thing? I mean, Kayla, everything is falling apart in our life right now. And I don't think you care. And frankly, I'm getting tired of talking to you about it. Jacob, I do care. But baby, our faith should be in God, not the bank. What happened to that man that hung in there with me through my illness, letting me know that everything was going to be OK? Baby, you had faith. I don't know how I would have made it without you being there every day, letting me know that God was going to heal me. Really? Really? Some good that's got us. Trusting and believing God. Let's go. Kayla, come on! Things are going right now. I'm the only man left in this house. God left us a long time ago. And it's up to me to solve our problems. So stop shoving the word of God down my throat as if I don't know what I need to do. You gotta have some faith in me sometimes. Jacob, I know you're the man of this house, and I know God has blessed me with you. Baby, God has never left us no matter what we're going through. All I'm saying is. Shut up! What's up? Living, just enough, living for the city, yeah. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Just enough, and my little out of here, just 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this homework real quick and get back to work, man. Yeah. David Mike, the good banking brother. I've been in the banking business, what, about 30 years? Let me buy a five dollars now. David. Jacob, man, what's going on? Oh, man, not much, man. You doing all right? Gotta get together, no. man. Kick no. it like we used to do. Be nice, man. You just don't know. I need some rest and relaxation to get my mind off these problems. Man. That's a plan. That's a plan. I got your paperwork, man. Have a seat. Now, Jacob, uh, Michael gave me your loan papers, and I must tell you, man, it's not looking too good for you. What do you mean they don't look good? Calm down, Jacob. I'm just saying. Man, wait. Are you telling me I can't get a loan from this bank? I said, I talked to Mike on the phone the other day. He said everything was fine. I did all I could. But look, there's a reason why the bank is not accepting your loan. They saying that your annual income is good. It's really good. But your debt to income ratio is just too high, man. Hold on, man. You're telling me I'm working every single day, making $80,000 a year, and I can't get a loan from this bank? I did all I could, man. I just need you to try to understand that. Understand what? What I understand is I'm about to lose my home and my own friends, my own friends won't even help me. It ain't even like that, man. Oh man, do you understand that when I walked in here and asking you for some help, you realize how hard that was? And I thought you would understand what I'm up against and help me. Understand, man. Please, man, wait, Jacob. Wait for what? To you, man. I, I get it. It's not that this bank can't help me, it's that this bank won't help me. Not even my own friends. It's not even like that. Man. Oh, lady! What are you blind or something? Watch where you're going! Hey, man. Shake. <laughs> Do I know you? This is the life. I am so glad to be away from that job today. I think if I had to listen to my supervisor talk about one more budget cut, I would just scream. Anyway, girl, enough about me. How are you doing? I'm okay. It just seems like the only time I'm at peace is when I'm over here. Donna, it's just been so hard lately. Our bills keep piling up. And it just seems like it's just so hard to get ahead right now. Kayla, this doesn't sound like you at all. You have always been a woman of faith. Mm -hmm. You know there's nothing too hard for God. Listen to me encouraging you on having <laughs> faith. Isn't it normally the other way around? I know, right? <laughs> it's just Jacob. Girl, he's been so angry lately and we're not seeing eye to eye right now. Donna, tell me what can I do? to help the man that God has sent me through all of this. Okay, talk to me. I'm here for you, okay? Well, you know, a couple of months ago I had surgery. And after five doctor visits, it's like we're playing the waiting game. And Jacob is just so impatient right now. And I don't know how much longer he can take it. So what are the doctors saying? What are your chances of having a baby? That's the problem. We don't know. It's just hard right now with all these expensive doctor bills. 
I know that's why Jacob is angry, because he wants to have a baby. Donna, I want to have a baby too. And I, I just want to, I just want to please my husband. I just, I just want to, <laughs> I just want to please my husband. Miss <laughs> Kelly. Mama always told me to go do something. I just do it to the God and he will see you too. I know, baby. Dad, please help Miss Kayla. Miss Kayla, this is not too hard, but I need to measure your Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, charge about two points on the back end, and uh, they should be ready to close in about a week or so. Hey, Mr. David, you ready to go? The bank doesn't pay us for overnight working. Oh, man. What's wrong? I'm really trying to make this loan go through for Jacob. Oh, I really would like him to get this. Yeah, I would too. Some of us are meeting up tonight at Old Souls Cafe for some barbecue. You want to go? We'll tear that barbecue up. All right, let's go. May I help you? Yes, I'm gonna make a purchase. Business or personal? <laughs> Both. All right, uh, get you to fill out this application right here. Hey man, you see a guy standing out there? No. <sighs> man, I thought you were about to lose it in that meeting when Sharon questioned you about your proposal. I just inspect a potential climber like Sharon to be throwing salt in the pot, you know? I'm just going through some stuff right now, man. Yeah, oh, man. Just going through some stuff, man. I don't know. Well, look, man, I just want to let you know you really have to be in there. You're private. I appreciate that, man. So you know what you need to do now? What's that? You need to get out of here, man. Go home. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. the weekend. Yeah, I guess you're right, eh? Man,
Caleb. Caleb. Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, are you okay? Jacob. Sharon, can you bring me Mrs. Stone's test results, please? Sure. Sorry to say, Doc. They don't look too good. Give me Mrs. Stone on the line. Will do. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Stone. This is Sharon from Dr. Taylor's office. He would like to speak to you. Could you hold for a moment, please? Okay. Dr. Taylor, Mrs. Stone is on the line. Thank you. Mrs. Stone, this is Dr. Taylor. I have your test results here and... Uh... So, doctor, can we have a baby? I'm sorry, Keelan. The tests are very clear. You won't be able to get pregnant. But, you know, you can always adopt. No. No. Is it because of the abortion that I had years ago? That's it, isn't it? God is punishing me because of the abortion that I had? Hello? Kayla? Hello? Kayla? Kayla? Hello? Oh, Mr. Stone, this is Dr. Taylor. I was going over the test results with your wife, and uh, I'm sorry, you won't be able to have children. Um, I want you both to come in for some counseling. Uh, Doc, look, I can't talk about this right now. An abortion? Why are you gonna tell me about an abortion? Baby, I'm sorry. Let's just talk about it first. The bank, not a doctor telling me that we can't have a family because you had an abortion. What's next, Kayla? Why did you do that? You always asking me to have faith and to trust in God. What is your faith when you make that decision? I'm sorry, Jacob. I'm sorry, Jacob. When were you going to tell me about the abortion? Jacob, I wanted to tell you about the abortion so bad. But baby, when you asked me to marry you, you were so excited about starting a family and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to tell you. I didn't know. Kayla, I told you everything about me from start to finish. How could you leave something that important out? I mean, you know I wanted to have a family. I do too, baby, but I thought if I told you, Jacob, that, that you would stop loving me. <laughs> what kind of sense does that make? Kayla, I, I, I can't do this. No, no. no I, I can't. Because the woman that I thought that I fell in love with, I don't even, even exist, Kayla. No. no Jacob. And, and, and praying and having faith and trusting in God is not going to fix this. I'm out. Jacob! Jacob, don't do this! Jacob! 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 This is the story about the book that mommy read when she was a little girl. And so when I got home, my mother actually made the soup. Hey, right. here we go. Thank you. You're so welcome, no problem. I think we'll have some ice cream. Okay. Let me get you some ice cream. Thank you. You're welcome.
take a bug one with you. Thank you. Hey, Jacob. How we doing today? How we doing today? Now, Jacob, we are not going to start off like that today. Let me get your usual. Thank you. You're welcome. Be right back. something my mother always told me no matter what you might be going through whether it's big or small remember God is in control wow you are really enjoying that ice cream aren't you yes vanilla is my favorite mm. who are you looking at I'm looking at that man over there Looks just like my dad, Mama, when he left us. Let's go. You know what I told you about staring. Mister, don't leave your family. Say what? Why, why do you say that? I'm sorry, sir. My husband and I are separated. Every time he sees a man sitting alone looking sad, he thinks about his dad when he left us.
Bible study, aren't you? Sister Kate, are you alright? Pastor, I've just been sitting here asking God for answers. My marriage is a mess. And my life is just falling apart. Hey, hey, uh, why don't you tell me what's going on? Well, a while back, I had surgery. And the hospital bills, they just keep piling up. And the doctor called me the other day and told me that we can't have children. And now to top it all off, the bank is going to foreclose on our home. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Pastor, I don't know what to do. Sister Kayla, everything is going to be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. It is not going to be all right, Pastor. It's just not. When I was in college, Pastor, I had an abortion. And that's the reason I can't have children. <laughs> do you think God is punishing me because of that? No. No, I don't, I don't think God is punishing you for that. You know, as long as you've repented and as long as you've asked God for forgiveness. I have repented. I've repented over and over and over. I have repented. I have. Well, Kayla, since you've repented and you've asked God for forgiveness, he will forgive you. <laughs> Kayla, why didn't you bring this to the church before? You know what? Maybe I need to speak with Jacob. Maybe I, I just need to get him no, to Pastor, agree to... No, Pastor, no. Please, please, please do not tell Jacob. Jacob is so prideful, he wouldn't stand for that. Please just do not tell oh, okay, Jacob. Just okay. don't... Kayla? Don't tell Kayla, Jacob. Kayla, you need to calm down, okay? All right? Okay. I won't say anything to Jacob, but I want you to promise me one thing. Promise me that you'll get him to agree to counseling. Can't you see, Kayla? God is with you. He's still with you, even in this trial. You know, the doctors, they say one thing. But Kayla, God has the last word. You see, man, he's just a way through. But Kayla, God is the way too. So don't give up. Don't, just don't give up on the promises of God. If he says it, it will be so. So what I want to do now is we're going to pray. Okay. And guess what? God is going to answer our prayer. Yes. And I just want you to hold on to your faith yes. and believe that even he will fix this yes. for you. So let's pray. past few weeks, the Spirit of the Lord has been dealing with my heart yeah. about how important it is to know that when we're encountering the daily issues and, and struggles of life, it is Satan's ultimate objective to destroy the hopes and dreams of those who put their faith and trust in God. Yeah. Many times, many times the enemy will use subtly use economic hardships yeah. or domestic relational circumstances yeah. to try to, to circumvent oh, the very yeah. confidence yeah. we put in the Lord to help us deal with these problems and cause us to fight against those and even those we trust in yeah. and commit ourselves to. Whether it be a past experience or problems with financial shortages, yeah. The devil will use these tools to destroy the first institution of order established since the beginning of time. The institution of marriage is God's way of helping mankind to understand the importance of the covenant love that he has for us. The one thing, the one thing that he gives to every man, woman, boy and girl, it's a measure of faith. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's a measure of faith to pursue our wholesome and lasting fellowship with the only one who can fulfill our deepest need and
and desire. Yes. To know, to live, to give yes. the love that we've been given by our Lord and Savior, yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. It is this measure of faith yes. that Satan fights so hard yes. to destroy, to, to break up marriages yes. and homes, to destroy yes. generations and legacies, yes. thinking that he will win the battle for the souls of men yes. like you and I who put our complete trust in the Lord. Yes. And in the heat of the moment, when all hell is breaking loose, yeah. and when we feel as if there is no hope, yeah. and our loved ones yeah. walk out and leave yeah. us, yeah. and when there is no one else to turn yeah. to yeah. who can deliver us from the disaster of maniacal destruction yeah. and the epitome of eternal devastation, yeah. it is at this moment yeah. that the Spirit of the Living God will come into our hearts like a flood. Now, ladies, you know that that's a married man you're talking about. Um, come on here, girl. Now. What kind of light you living shine? Girl, I live my life shine the best way I know how. Brother Jacob, Sister Kayla, I am so glad you all were able to make it today. You know, the Lord gave me this message about a measure of faith to give to the congregation, and I really didn't want you all to miss it. By the way, how's everything going, Brother Jacob? Everything's fine, Pastor. Just fine. Oh, okay. okay. Let's go. Okay, well, if you ever need anything, my door is always open. Is this something you want to tell me? Something that I need to know? No. What? When every time somebody asks us how we're doing, you assume that I've been talking about us. The pastor was looking directly at me, like something was wrong. No, I know you've been talking to the pastor, telling him. Okay. Okay.
today, right now, if y'all out there listening, your faith should be in God when all hell breaks loose. Right. Kayla, come on. She always making me late. Now I got this stupid foreclosure letter from the bank. <sighs> Kayla, come on! Baby, I'm ready. What took you so long? It's 6 o'clock. I gotta be at work at 7. Plus, you know I gotta drop you off at Dunn's. Baby, I'm sorry. When I was getting dressed, I was just spending time with God, and I guess I just lost track of time. That's all. <laughs> I hope you know they're about to foreclose on our home. What? Yes, Kayla. I found this letter in that stack of mail that you brought in yesterday. And didn't I tell you, bring the mail in and go through it. I mean, do I have to do every single thing? I mean, Kayla, everything is falling apart in our life right now. And I don't think you care. And frankly, I'm getting tired of talking to you about it. Jacob, I do care. But baby, our faith should be in God, not the bank. What happened to that man that hung in there with me through my illness, letting me know that everything was going to be okay? Baby, you had faith. I, I don't know how I would have made it without you being there every day, letting me know that God was going to heal me. Really? Really? Some good that's got us. Trusting and believing God. Let's go. Kayla, come on! Using the word of God to solve our problems. The way things are going right now, I'm the only man left in this house. God left us a long time ago. And it's up to me to solve our problems. So stop shoving the word of God down my throat as if I don't know what I need to do. You gotta have some faith in me sometimes. Jacob, I know you're the man of this house. And I know God has blessed me with you. Baby, God has never left us no matter what we're going through. All I'm saying is... Shut up! What's up?